and we're back to learning Inkscape and this time I'm going to show you how to split objects based on grids. Another question that I've received. If you have questions let me know in the comments below and if I know the answer I'll make a video about it. This one's fairly easy, let me create a circle and then I create a rectangle and I hold control when I create these, then control D to copy. The snapping helps me and positioning them and on the left we've got the object and all of these rectangles are supposed to be our grid. And we now want to split the circle based on a grid. Let me give this one a stroke and you can see it better. Go to object, fill in stroke and under stroke style you can adjust it. So this is now our basic grid. I go to path and combine it so that it's one object and it needs to be on top of the circle. So use this top menu right here to make sure that it's on top. We put the circle on top. This is not what we want. It needs to be below the grid. Just like this. Let me put it on top and I'll get rid of the grid. Then I select it all, so the circle in behind is also selected. I go to path and use division. And now the circle is split based on this grid. What you could also do is, let me press Ctrl Z. I give this one a stroke again. And I get rid of the fill. Let me increase the stroke width. And let's just say we want to have these as cutouts of the circle. Go to path, stroke to path. Once again, make sure it's on top of the circle and not below like this. It needs to be on top. Select both. Path and division once more. And now you can drag this part out of there. And you can see that the grid has created the cutout. So these are the two ways for using a grid to split an object in Inkscape. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.